Welcome back. In this step, we will focus on deleting a person. What we want to do is delete the person out. So I'll say delete person. The way it works in Hibernate is before deleting the person, you need to be able to get the person out. So I would say find by ID, ID and get the person first. So I'll say delete find by ID, ID. I don't want to pass in a person. So let's delete by using an ID. I'll call this delete by ID. I would take this and put it into a new local variable called person. And now I can call a method called entity manager dot remove. So this would remove the object. This would delete the person out. And this will actually not return a person. It's actually a void method. So I would say void. So delete by ID entity manager dot remove person. That's how you delete a person. Now I can actually try doing that. So let's try and delete 1001. Unfortunately, I cannot use logger.info anymore because it's a void method right now. So oh, it's deleting 10,002. So I'll leave it at 10,002. So repository dot delete by ID 10,002. And you can start the start and stop the application and we'll look at H2 console to see if 10,002 is deleted. You can see that the query is being fired, delete from person where ID is equal to something. If you go to the console and fire the query again, let's trigger it again, person, you'd see that 10,002 row is not present. So delete worked as expected. In this very short step, we actually implemented a simple delete with an entity manager. You can see how simple JPA makes it to talk to the database. All that we need to do is define the entities and the mappings and that's it. JPA would take care of the rest for us. Until the next step, bye-bye.